Hey everyone, this is Brandon Dilworth. I'm editing my intro as we speak, coming to you from my Macintosh. And this has been weighing on my mind. Um, this has been weighing on my mind since um, last night. Um, I want to show you something real quick I was, that I drew. Maybe have another drawing to do. Maybe in the coming weeks, I don't know. But this came to my mind last night. You see, I was watching the Nickelodeon animation video of the construction of their new building at Burbank, California. And someone comment someone commented um that they should bring back the Nick Splat logo to make it nostalgic. I don't know if they would do that and I'll tell you the reason why in a moment, but I wanna show you a little drawing that I did. This is uh the entrance, the drawing of the entrance. Um from nineteen ninety eight to to somewhere around 2012 and now I know I'm not getting rid of it <laughs> I never really thought of getting rid of this um, now I'm not getting rid of it at all definitely especially when it has this giant foot uh, I missed that foot really but someone commented that it would be nostalgic if, the, if Nickelodeon Animation would bring back the Splat logo, and I commented on his comment <laughs> that I didn't know. I I wasn't sure if they were gonna do it because to me Nickelodeon is stubborn when it comes to trademarks. For example, let's say let's say you buy a Nine Snake DVD, a DVD of your favorite Nine Snake show. Don't expect to see the old Splat logo because. Um, it's gonna end up having the current logo. Like what you see on this San Diego Comic Con poster that I have had for like years now. The only reason why I got it because of the characters in the center. Um I didn't how I feel about the Nick logo. Uh I feel like they could have done a little bit better with their logo. I'll say that right now. If they absolutely, they absolutely had to change the logo, uh, they could have done a really better job than what you just saw. So, um, I'm not going to say I don't like it, but they could have done really, really better. They could have... In fact, they couldn't have changed it at all. Or if they really had to change it, they could have done a, a better job. That's just my view on it. But, back to the comment. Uh, I told him that I didn't know because Nick Hoyne was stubborn with the trademarks and the DVDs and blah, blah, blah. blah. But, somehow, Nickelodeon has a heart despite a different logo. Uh, cause they've kept the balloon font logo on the Nick on Sunset Studio in Los Angeles. It's not too far from the animation studio in Burbank. And, uh, the other guy said, they better not change it. <sighs> they better not change it. I don't know if, it, if I said it, but I don't know. But, but, uh, I was in, in agreement that the Nickelodeon logo was historic. And I'm talking about this logo, not the current logo. No, it was historic. It was nostalgic. I mean, it could turn from a splat to anything you want, like what you just saw, the giant foot. And uh, I have a nice Nick cap, a new school Nickelodeon cap that I'm about to pull out right now. You may have seen it in a couple um, videos. This is it right here. And, um, it's near and dear to my heart. Now I got this off eBay. Really near and dear to my heart. And, um, uh, one day I'll be getting the orange cap with the Nickelodeon, um, 
font, the balloon font. But yeah, I think Nickelodeon's logo is historic. It's sad to know that it's gone now. And uh, I wish Nickelodeon did a better job when it comes to logos. I mean, that's how I feel about it. I'm not going to say I dislike their logo. I'm not going to you know, do all the personal thoughts in Jack. But I just wish they could have done a little bit better. But um, that's what's been on my mind lately. You know, I'm, <laughs> I feel like this is my diary, my video diary now. Just confessing my thoughts. Confessing my thoughts. Dear Diary, today I hope the win this game. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. But that's it for me. And I hope everyone has a great day. And um, I know everyone hates Mondays right now, but at least there's Monday Night Raw for all y'all wrestling fans. So that's going to be it for me. That's going to be it for this vlog. If you like this vlog, like, comment, share, and above all else, sub, freaking, subscribe. Please freaking do it. Check out my channel. Check out the Brando Show. Check out the Reactor. I have those shows on my channel. And if you want to see the construction video and the comments that I uh, talked to that person about, I will leave a link in the description below. That's going to be it for me. And until we meet again, people love God, stay awesome. Goodbye, everyone.